I think the one thing that we can be quite certain of is that any predictions we make today for the for what the future will be like in 50 years will be wrong. I mean, I, th I think directionally, I can tell you what I hope the future has, as opposed to maybe what it will be, because this, this may just be wishful thinking. Um, I mean, I hope we are out there on uh, Mars and maybe beyond Mars, the moons of Jupiter. Um, I hope we're, we're, exp we're traveling frequently throughout the solar system, perhaps preparing for missions to nearby star systems. Um, I think all of this is possible within 50 years. Um, and I think that would be very exciting to do that. Um, and I think we'll, we'll see autonomy and artificial intelligence advance tremendously. I think that's actually quite near term. Um, my guess is in probably 10 years, it will be very unusual for cars to be built that are not fully autonomous. I think almost all cars uh, built will be capable of full autonomy in about 10 years. Um, as it is, the Tesla cars that are made today have the sensor system necessary for full autonomy, and we think probably enough compute power to be safer than a person. So it's mostly just a question of developing the software and uploading the software. Uh, and if it turns out that the compute power, uh, that more compute power is needed, we can easily upgrade the computer. Um, and other manufacturers will follow and do the same thing. Um, so autonomy will be widespread. You know, I think one of the most troubling questions is artificial intelligence. And I don't, I don't mean narrow AI, like uh, vehicle autonomy I would put in the narrow AI class. Um, it's narrowly trying to achieve a certain function. But deep artificial intelligence, or what is sometimes called artificial general intelligence, um, where you could have AI that is much, sm much smarter than the smartest human on earth. This, I think, uh, is a dangerous situation.